Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. Okay y'all, before we get into this video, if you're not watching this in 1080p, then what are you doing? Like, come on now. Make sure you go click to watch this video in 1080p right now so you can have the best viewing experience. Now back into the video. <laughs> Today I will be talking about why I chose University of Georgia. So if you don't know, I just graduated high school earlier this year, a couple months ago, and I will be attending the University of Georgia. So yeah. <laughs> um. So if you see me, if you see me look down, it's just because I, I wrote down my notes and all that. So before I get into this video, I want to put a huge disclaimer out there baby girl and baby boys okay it is okay to not know where you are going to go to college okay so i'm talking about even as an incoming senior even when you're younger it's okay to not know where you where you are going to college when i was younger i used to always say oh i'm going to harvard oh my gosh i want to go to harvard that's my gym school da, 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 da. but you know when you're younger you don't really hear of so many colleges so you just say like the top one in your head but when I got older, especially in senior year, I realized, okay, I don't really feel like that's the school for me just because I like sports. I like a school that has like big, a good school spirit in Harvard. Yeah, they're known for their grades and academic stuff. But other than that, they not really hitting nowhere else. I'm If you go to Harvard, bro, I, I salute you. But like, it really wasn't school for me. So it's okay to not where you are going. And on top of that, um, talk to me. I'm not sure if I ever said this on here before, but I was valedictorian of my school. So that means that I had the highest GPA out of everybody in my class. And me, I did not know I was going to college until April 30th, y'all. And you probably don't know what that means right now, but basically May 1st is is college decision day. So that's usually the day you would hear all seniors say, okay, I'm going to this school, I'm going to this school, da da da. That's when you see all those posts. Me, I had nothing to post. <laughs> I did not know where I was going until the day before college decision day. So people used to come to me like, oh, Adriana, what school are you going to? Did I? Because, you know, they expect their back turn to know what school she's going to, y'all. So people thought I was lying because I used to tell them, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I had no idea where I was going to school at all. My parents didn't know. I didn't know. Nobody knew. So it is okay to not know where you are going to college because you will figure out when the time is right you feel me i didn't know until the day before that's when i paid my deposit for my school was the day before so yeah now to get into the reasons why i chose the university of georgia so reason number one money 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 honey so um just to like put y'all like at a glance of what uj cost me uj cost me over two over $27,000 per year, or at least that's how much it cost me this year. And that's with my specific housing and with the meal plan that I want. And I added a couple thousand for like books and other supplies and all that. So I don't know how much college costs for everybody else, but to me, that's a lot. You know, me, I'm a, I'm a kid. So anything over like $30, $40 is a lot to me. I'm gonna just be honest. You're gonna be trying to save for coins. So UGA costs a lot and college in general costs a lot but the reason why I chose UGA was because because I have a good GPA and an SAT score I was able to get a scholarship in Georgia called the Zell Miller scholarship so in Georgia you have two scholarships that you could get as a student who graduates high school in Georgia and that's the Hope scholarship or the Zell Miller scholarship Hope pays for I'm not sure how much but it pays for partial fees of your tuition and Zell Miller is full tuition paid so that's the only scholarship that I knew that I was getting like I didn't have no other scholarships at the time so when looking when comparing UGA's financial aid and all that to other schools I chose UGA mainly because I knew I was going to get Zelma with scholarship so yeah um I basically chose UGA just because of money on top of that after I got accepted I got a whole bunch more UGA specific scholarships not from UGA's financial aid but just from scholarships that I applied to I got a lot of scholarships for me to stay in Georgia so I was like I might as well go to Georgia because it's not going to cost me that much and 
like a college education is not necessary but like i want a college education but if i could go somewhere cheaper and get the same degree that you're getting like come on now so the main reason why i chose uga was because of it wasn't gonna cost me that much because if it cost me whole bunch trust me sweetheart i would not be going to uga <laughs> like the meal plan is four thousand dollars my housing is six thousand dollars and that's the cheapest housing on campus so it's like UJ is just gonna keep on going up from there. Reason number two, I had a fear for my credits transferring. So I'm a dual enrollment scholar. And that means that I take high school classes and college classes at the same time. So I already had like two years worth of college experience and college classes already taken. And my thing was, um, my thing was, I don't wanna go to, like I wanted to go out of state. Well, I didn't really care where I went, honestly. But like, if I went out of state, I had like, I had a fear that my credits would not have transferred because I've seen other people, I've seen my older brothers and my sisters transfer even in state and their credits don't, tra their credits don't transfer over. And for me to have paid that money, even though I didn't pay money for dual enrollment, but for me to have spent that time taking those classes, really studying, doing my tests, getting the grades that I need to get. And for those credits to not transfer, that was a little too much for me because like, Although I'm smart and all, I'm trying to get in and get out. Like, I'm not trying to stay in school. I'm trying to get my work done and get out as quick as I can so I can start working in my passion, working in what I want to do. I had a fear of my credits transferring. So I knew that if I was if I was to stay in Georgia, my credits from the dual enrollment college that I took classes at would have transferred over to UGA, which they have. So all of my credits went over, and I'm so happy because that saves money and time and you're able to take more classes to experience other things or you're able to work into other programs faster reason number three for why i chose uga is because of the double dog program if you're looking into uga you probably you probably have heard of this you probably haven't heard of this or anything so at first i i don't think i was gonna apply for uga i'm not sure but in my 11th grade year we took a trip to uga and they told us about the double dog program which is basically a program where you can get your bachelor's degree and your master's degree in five years. So if you don't know about master's degrees, master's programs usually take two or three years, depending on which one you're doing. So for me, when I heard that five years, like I told you earlier, I'd save time, I'd save money. When I was like, I get that done in five years, I was like, okay, I'm set. If I go there, because I want to be a lawyer, if I go there and get my bachelor's done, if, okay, think about it like this. If I go to UGA, I already have two years of classes done, and I can, they tell me I can get my bachelor's and my master's in five years, that means I only need to spend three years there. Okay? So, <laughs> I mean, that, that's how I was thinking. And then I looked more deep, I looked like more into it, and then for me to specifically get my JD, which is like the law, it's the name for the law master's degree, or whatever, they have a three plus three program. That's to where you take three years of your bachelor's time you take three years doing your bachelor's and you do three years doing like your work for your jd so i was like okay so that's what i'm trying to do because i'm trying to get in and i'm trying to get out you feel me that's and then also the one thing that you have to think about when going into college especially if you want to go into a profession that needs a master's degree or if you want a master's degree and you're trying to just go seamlessly through my thing was the school the the university that i was going to had to have a law school because although you won't get automatically accepted to the law school just because you went to the school i think it would be easier for me because you're able to talk to those academic advisors that are at the law school while you're at the other school and you're able to make those connections beforehand you're able to get recommendations from people in the law school beforehand so that was my main thing so uga has there of course the franklin college of arts and sciences that i'll be graduating from and then they have a law school that I'll be able to go to. And then even other schools that I was thinking about, they sent like, I would look at the law programs there and they were like, they send, although they don't have like law schools on campus, sometimes they send their students to UGA. So I was like, why would I go to you to come to UGA when I could just come to UGA and stay at UGA? You feel me? So that was another thing, the Double Dog program, really big. If you're interested in, in getting a master's, I would really suggest you look into that because like I said, it saves time and money. You just have to be headstrong and you have to be staying on your academics while you're there because college is not something you wanna go in there and mess around with so then you lose money. 
is too much. Reason number four for why I chose UGA was because of the black population and culture. So obviously University of Georgia is a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution. And many people were like, I'm not even gonna get into why I didn't choose why I didn't choose an HBCU. But if you want a video on why I didn't choose an HBCU, then y'all ask for that down below, and I most definitely make a video about that. So yeah, but it's a PWI, and as a black student, it's like I don't know how to explain it. But University of Georgia is a PWI. So my main thing, because I went to a predominantly black high school, I grew up in Atlanta, but like, okay. I was born in Massachusetts, <laughs> not to get to lie. I was, born into, I was born in Massachusetts, so I know how to be around white people because I've had white friends. I, people are people, like your skin color means absolutely nothing to me. People are people. But I've grown up and been around black people for most of my life and Although people are people, some people weren't raised the same way as you. So some people may not like you because of your skin color. And I have no problem with that. You you do what you want to do. As long as you don't mess with me, you have whatever beliefs that you want to have. That's how I am. As long as you don't try to bring no harm to me, be cool. So my main thing was with me going to a PWI, will they have that population, that culture for me to feel safe? Will they have that population, that culture for me to be able to go and talk to somebody who has been through what I have been through, somebody who understands the same struggles that I've been through. I can hang out with the white people all I want to, cause like I said, they're people. But at the end of the day, you weren't raised the same way as I was raised. Sometimes I wanna have that safe haven where I could go and be like, girl, what did you use for your hair? Da, 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 because even that's different. I can't ask them because we don't have the same hair. What works for them doesn't work for me. What works for me may not work for them, you feel me? So you wanna be able to have that person that you can go to be like, hey, da, 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 just like, talk about stuff with because like you're you grew up in the same type of culture you feel me so at UJ although it's a PWI it is a huge school so their black population even if it's like five percent I don't know what the exact percentage is I'll put it on the screen but they that population is huge it's like thousands of us I'm in a group chat with them I'll just talk with them before this video like it's they have a population they do come together they do speak with each other so that made me feel a little bit safer when i went to tours at other schools yeah they have black people and they said they felt safe but you could feel that like they weren't together you feel me like i just want to feel like there's a place for me to go you feel me reason number five why i chose uga was because of the school spirit so like i said earlier one of the reasons why i didn't really want to go to harvard really was because the school spirit wasn't much outside of academics but UGA has that work hard play hard type of spirit so as if you live in America you probably know University of Georgia is really good in football so you know they beast and although I'm not like a big football fan they are good in other sports like that's why we just got some really good people so you're gonna be fine that's why too and all that so that was a really big thing for me because I want to go around and be like yeah I rep that school yeah that's my school da, 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 da. And yeah, even though I didn't really care, honestly, I didn't care if I went to a school with the name or not, but I am going to school with the name and having a school that was more than just academics because when you go to school that's all about academics, yeah, that's nice and all, but sometimes those schools have a high suicide rate. They have a high amount of people who just, they have a mental health problem because they're always so stressed about getting the work done, da da da. UGA, they get the work done, but they also know how to relax and take personal time for themselves. So that was a big thing for me. Reason number six, last but not least, reason number six as to why I chose UGA was because of location. So like I said earlier, I was raised in Atlanta. So Atlanta to Athens is like a one and a half hour, maybe a little bit more depending on traffic drive. So I didn't, I only applied to three colleges in Georgia because I didn't really care if I stayed in state or out of state. I wasn't like one of those people that were like, oh no, how do you get as far away as my parents as I can get? I did not care. I just wanted to go to college. You feel me? <laughs> um, but like UGA, it gives you that sense of being out of state because it's an hour and a half away and it's in a college town where like it's just that over there but it's not too far away to where if something happens or it's environmental or financial or anything, I could always come back home. I could always 
have my parents bring me home. There are a lot of people that live in Atlanta, so there are a lot of people that if they're coming over here, I could be like, hey, can I ride over with you, da, da, da. So that was a really big thing for me because I like, how do I explain? Like, I've been with my family forever. Like, anybody who knows me knows that I'm a homebody. Like, I'm always with my family. You can always catch me with my brother, my mom, anybody like that. So, like, to go away, like, I don't even know how I feel like it still hasn't kicked in yet that I graduated and I'm about to leave and all that. But still, being able to know that it's just a call away for them to come and pick me up or for them to get somebody to bring me over, that feels better, especially going into my first year away from them. Like, I haven't been on no, like, crazy trips away from them for a far amount of time. So, um, that was a big thing for me. So, um, those are the six reasons why I chose UGA. And you guys, if you're if you're thinking about like what schools to apply to, think about UJ. Also think about other schools. Don't just go to a school based off of what your friends are going because you have to remember at the end of the day, although those are your friends, if y'all are not all trying to do and be the same exact thing in life, it doesn't make any sense for you to go to the same school. Like me and one of my closest friends, I want to be a lawyer and she wants to be an OBGYN. So me going to UGA is perfectly fine because UGA is a big communication school and I'm majoring in communication. Like it's huge on journalism, all that good stuff. So that's a good school for me. But for her to be an OBGYN or something related to being a doctor, although there are people who go there for those reasons, it's not like the best fit for her. So us applying to the same exact schools, it doesn't really serve us any purpose. And if your friends want you to go to the same school as them and y'all don't have the same goals and they're mad, da, 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 that's not your friend, baby girl. They should want you to go to a school that's best for you, for you to be able to thrive. If y'all are really cool and friends and all that good stuff, they will continue to stay in contact with you, all that good stuff. So I have a bonus reason as to why I chose UGA or just to help y'all with picking the right college period is a major, 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 okay? So, well, it's not major, but it's about your major. So, um, know what, going into college, you have to know what you want to major in, or if you want to do a minor, you have to know what you want to minor in. But minors are not necessary. Don't let people take minors. You don't need a minor. You need a major. <laughs> so, my major that I wanted to do was communications. But while I was in the application process and applying to a lot of schools, a lot of schools did not have the majors that I wanted or the programs that I wanted because depending on the school, it might be a liberal arts school or any other school that doesn't really have like the majors that go with what you want to do. Before you start the college process, make sure you know what you want to major in so you go to the right school. Also, like I said earlier, if you want to go, if you want to be in a master's program, make sure you know if this university that you are going to has a school a master's school that works for you so like i said uga has a law school so that was like that's easy for me to be able to get that communication with them but if they didn't have a law school now to figure out okay how can do they have a pre-law program do they have an academic advisor on campus that will be able to help me and connect me with a law school or do they have somebody who's going to be able to bridge me over across that gap so make sure you figure out if your school has it or not because that's one of the other reasons why i chose uga because they have communications as a major for me. They have a pre-law program and they have a law school. So that's just going to help me go all the way through with everything that I want to do. So, yeah, that's the bonus extra reason as to why I wanted to go to UGA. If y'all want any more advice or any tips on how to choose colleges, how to go through the college process, any of that from someone who has just went through it and knows how it goes, has and knows how to deal with both acceptances and from being denied and all that and make sure that y'all comment that comment that down below i am free to make all that i don't i do whatever y'all want me to do so if you like this video make sure you smash the like button right now if you have any video ideas like i said earlier make sure you put those in the comments down below if you are a part of uga 23 or if you're going to uga if you're thinking about uga if you are at uga make sure you put the dog emoji or like the red and black heart down below let me know what year y'all are all that good stuff because i'm so ready to meet everybody who's going to uj like it feels like a family already and we like i haven't even gone there yet but i'm so excited for this next year and what it has what like is gonna happen for me i'm excited because your girl's about to make some boss moves all that good stuff
but make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're able to see me through this college process because I will be doing college dorm halls. I'll be doing an empty dorm tour, my dorm tour when it's done. I'll be, I'm gonna try to do stuff with my roommate once I figure out who she is. So it's just gonna be a lot of cool stuff. So if you wanna see all that, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell because how else are you gonna know when it's posted? I love all you guys and I am sincerely Dree and I will see you in the new video. Bye.